Yes, okay. So I wasn't exactly the one who saved their lives. I'd like to think the doctors at Luth were the ones who were able to stabilize these men. But yes, I was on my way back to school, which is Luth Lagos University Teaching Hospital in Idiaba, Suliri. I was on my way back to school from set. I had worked all night and shot till 7 a.m. So I was going to bed pretty much. And the car right in front of me on the bridge had an accident. It lost control and went to the other side. It somersaulted to the other side of the road. And two oncoming vehicles were unable to avoid, you know, crashing into the car. And so it was a very devastating accident. Three cars were involved. And the three cars were completely, absolutely gone, completely damaged. Thankfully, one of the uh, victims was able to come out of his car, and even in his injured state, he was trying to get the other two accident victims out of their cars because the other two were trapped in their vehicles. But uh, people stopped on the bridge. People who were moving on both sides were able to stop, in as much as a few of them were not doing the right thing because instead of coming to help these people, they were standing and taking pictures and making videos, which is something we need to stop. We need to stop doing that. There were some other good people who assisted in getting the other two victims out of their cars. I called the emergency rapid response team number, which is a uh, 112. And I did speak to somebody. I gave them the information of where we were and what the situation was. And they said they were going to, you know, get to us. I waited about 10 minutes and they were still not there. So they were not as rapid as I'd expected. And I couldn't wait any longer because one of the victims was bleeding out profusely from his head. He had a very major head injury. And if I had, if we had waited another five minutes, he probably would have died there. So I got, I, I wasn't driving my personal car. I was in a private taxi and I got uh, one of the patients in my car with me, in the car I was in with me and got the um, RRS policemen to put two of the other victims in their car. Our policemen, let me just leave that. They followed me to Luth with the victims and when we got there, the doctors at Luth were very hands-on. They were able to, you know, stitch up the man that was bleeding, control the bleeding completely because I wasn't able to do too much on the, uh, sa at the scene rather. But I'm grateful that the doctors were very hands-on and these men didn't die. They were able to stabilize them and, you know, they're, they're recovering now and recuperating. It's just, I was, very devastated at the fact that while I was running around for these people I did not know at the hospital. If you've ever been to Luth, you know that you have to do pharmacy runs to get the IV, get the injections and everything. While I was doing all of that, I went outside and realized that the policemen had left me with these three men I didn't know from anywhere. So that made me scared because if these men had died, you know how our country is. I would have been in trouble. But I'm just grateful that everything worked out. Yeah. So yeah, as you all know, I play Leila on MTV Sugar. And what you might not know is that I got on MTV Sugar by auditioning. Yes, I went for the open audition, which happened uh, in 2015, 2015 or 2014 now. I don't particularly remember. But yes, I got on the show by auditioning. I didn't know anybody. I don't have a godfather or godmother in the industry. I don't have connections as is the general opinion of actresses these days. I didn't know anybody. All I did was show up to the audition and I got on the show. That's how I, that's how I got here, yes. So how do I combine medical school physiotherapy with uh, acting? It's not easy and there's not exactly a formula to it like uh, you know mathematics where there's a formula used to solve different equations or whatever. No, it's there's no logic, there's no formula to it. I've just been very fortunate. What I do is I try not to overbook myself. I keep a very closed and tight schedule because I have to consider that in as much as I'm acting and trying to build my career, I need at least 75% attendance to, uh, to have access to writing my tests or even my exams in school. So I try not to book too many gigs that will keep me out of school for too long and at the same time, you know, I'm constantly trying to read and make sure that when exam and tests come up, I'm up to speed and able to pass my exams. So yeah, just try to do one thing at a time. Avoid overbooking myself and just, you know, keep everything organized. Yes, that's how I cope.
So, uh, as you know, MTV Shiga 6 is back in Ninja, and we have three returning casts. Myself, Jemima Osunde, who plays Leila, Timini Agbosun, who plays Toby, and beautiful Sharon Eziamaka, who, um, who plays Princess. But as of obviously, three of us cannot shoot the whole season <laughs> on our own. So yes, there will be an open audition, one open audition where everybody and anybody who thinks that they want to be actors and believes in their talent can show up and audition. And if you, you know, are what the producers and people who are selecting are looking for, yes, you do definitely stand a chance to be on this season with us. Hi, my name is Jemima Osunde, and keep watching Olori Supergirl.